All right, so today we're going to have a look at radioisotopes. First, we're going to look at what they actually are. Um, now, this is our standard way of writing an element. For example, I will pull up a pen. We'll go to this one. Um, over here, we've got the M. That's your elemental symbol. Z up here is the atomic number. A is the atomic mass. Now, that's the way it appears on your periodic table. But when we're writing it out in an equation, you're going to do it backwards. So it's going to be M, Z, A. Which, if we were talking about this a particular isotope of carbon, we would write carbon 6, and we'll put a little 14 up the top. That's carbon 14. And there is also carbon 6, 12. Now we've now talked about two isotopes of carbon. So what actually is an isotope of carbon? Um, the first thing you want to be aware of is that this number here, the atomic mass that you see on a periodic table, that is the average mass of the different isotopes. So that is the average mass of the atoms. Of all the uranium, at uranium atoms, the average mass is 238.029. And this is because isotopes are atoms that have the same atomic number, okay, so there's our number six for carbon, but have different atomic mass. Well, what this means is they have the same number of protons, but different numbers of neutrons. Um, a radioisotope, however, is an isotope that is unstable. They have an unstable nuclei, and they un undergo spontaneous radioactive decay, in other words, radiation. Um, so a quick example down here is your carbon-12, which is that one there. That's the majority of carbon. I've got six electrons, six protons, six neutrons. And then we've got carbon-14, which is a small fraction of carbon. We have six electrons, six protons, eight neutrons. And that is unstable, and it will go through radioactive decay. Um, let's just have a quick look here. Um, here are our three isotopes, or the nuclei of our three isotopes, of hydrogen. We've got, now these all make up hydrogen. And remember, the atomic mass for hydrogen is 1 point, according to the periodic table, 0, 8. Which means, this one here is the overwhelming majority, and the other two make up such a small fraction that they only really average, you know, the mass only really averages out to still, in essence, 1. So we've got one proton in protein. In deuterium, We've got one proton, one neutron. Du meaning two, it has two nucleons. A nucleon is a proton or a neutron. Um, tritium actually has three nucleons. It's one proton and two neutrons. And that's it. And we'll see you next time.